How are we going to do this? I am going to choose out of these two, right? I'm going to choose one of them to be u, and I'm going to choose the other one to be dv on dx. It has to be dv on dx because, do you notice, there's no dx here. So to compensate for this dx that's there, I have to divide through my dx. Okay? So I want one of these to be u and one of them to be dv on dx. Now there's a good choice and there's a poor choice. And that's part of why this is not just a rule. You can't just blindly do this. You actually have to think, well, which one's which? For the regular product rule, what you end up with is symmetrical in u and v. So whichever, right? But here, you have to be careful. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, sort of just be easy on you. I'm going to tell you which one's which, and then we'll see after we finish this question what happens when you choose them poorly. Okay? So I'm going to call this one u, and I'm going to call this one dv on dx. Okay? So once you've done this, here's the way I like to set it out. There's lots of different ways to set this out. But on the right hand side, in the same way that on the right hand side I usually put my information about substitutions and so on, what I'm looking for is two primitives and two derivatives. Okay. So I'm looking for a u, a v, a du on dx, and a dv on dx. Okay? So these four parts are what make up integration by parts. I'm going to take, once I've worked out all four of these, I'm going to put them into here and then see what emerges out the other side. Okay? Now, like I said before, I've just chosen for you which one's u and which one's dv on dx. So if I say this one is u, then that tells you what du on dx is. It's one. Okay? I've defined the other one to be dv on dx. And again, for the sake of convenience, I'm not worrying about constant of integration here. Right. To get from dv on dx to v, I have to integrate, integrate right? So what's the primitive function of cos x? Sine. Just so. OK, so I've got all my parts now. This is the integral of u dv. This is the left-hand side. So now I'm going to write the right-hand side. OK, I've got all of this together in a box over here. Okay. What unfolds? Well, what is uv? U v. It's x sine x. Okay. So this is, yeah, I'm going to have just enough space. x sine x. That's the uv part. Okay. Then you subtract the integral of v times d on dx dx. So take away, and you can see here, this is where v du comes from. That diagonal is critically important, as I'll show you in a second. Okay. So what am I actually integrating? It's v, which is sine x, times what? What is du in this case? It's just 1, right? With respect to x. Is that okay? Alright, so I've already got x sine x out the front. Take away, what's the integral of sine x? Negative cos, right? And there's a negative at the front here too. So they um, cancel, don't right they? And now, because all my integrals are gone, now I'm going to write my constant of integration. Okay? So this is the answer I've got. How will we know whether we got the right answer or not? Just Let's just differentiate, okay? So down the bottom here, and let's all do this because it's very easy. Let's test. I'm going to leave off the constant because it doesn't matter in this context. What's the derivative of x sine x? Remember, I've got a product here, u and v. What are you going to help me read off? v dash. v Sorry. u dash plus u v dash. Yep. And then there's this guy, which is minus sine x, right? Cancel, cancel. It works. It works. It's almost magic, right? Like you've made this choice, and then you just substitute the parts in, and then out leaps the answer, almost without even thinking. It's kind of weird. Okay. Now, you remember I said to you before, hey, you have to choose. You've got to choose. Suppose you didn't make this choice from the beginning. By the way, you don't even know what, what criteria should I use for choosing. Well, I'm about to show you. Suppose, let's just restart the whole question. Okay? Try again. Yeah, yeah, you see. Okay, so I'm going to try it again. 
x cos x dx, and this time I'm going to reverse my order. So what if I said, well, let's make that one u, and let's make this one dv on dx, yeah? I'm going to try again. I'm looking for two primitives and two derivatives, okay? So I've let u equal cos x, and I've let dv on dx equal x, yeah? What's the derivative over here? Mm -hmm. Minus sign. Yeah, and what's my integral? <laughs> x squared on 2. Okay, now it doesn't look immediately obvious why this is a problem, but as soon as I write the next line, actually um, substitute my parts into here, suddenly it slaps you in the face. Watch. Um, the integral of u dv is x u times v. Yeah? Minus, x sorry, oh, that's wrong one. X squared on 2, that's v, right? Minus the integral of v, which is x squared on 2, times du, which is minus sine x dx. You see that? Now you look at that, just clarify that, and you're like, what? wait, what happened? This is worse than what I started with, okay? So therefore, now you can see, I told you to choose. At least, mercifully, there's only really two choices here. So it's like, well, if you get it wrong the first time, like you get to this point, you get to this point and say, uh-oh, no, 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 it's not going to work. So then you try the other one. But what is it about this that is so problematic, which will guide your choice in the future? You have to... Yeah, Nikita? Do you want to see this? If you, like, integrate, um, like, if you take x, if you take x and you take x and you take x and you when you, like, integrate it, yep. it's going to be really obvious. Okay, so... Choosing x as dv on dx, that led me to this, the v, right? But v, it needs to be integrated, right, eventually. Now, that's not so hard on its own. x squared on 2 is fine. Ah, but remember how I said this green arrow was going to be really important before, right? You need to pay close attention to what that's going to be because that's what guides you whether you choose one or the other, okay? Here's what I'm going to ask you to write down, okay? We must choose... u and v, now this is not the only criteria, but it is the most important criterion, but it is the most important one, such that, now, where's the arrow going between? It's v and du, right? That's the thing that has to be integrated here. And this time it was sine x, super easy. This time we got x squared on 2 sine x, yuck, right? So you want to choose u and v such that v du, uh, sorry, u and dv on dx such that v du is easy to integrate. That's what you're after. Okay? So you can see, this is why it's part of why it's not just called the reverse product rule. It's not like, oh, okay, I'm just gonna put the pieces in. You actually have to be a little bit thoughtful about it, and you can use it wrongly, and it just stuffs you up. Okay?